Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to our channel. This will be the fifth video of the entire series that I'm going to create for SIEM solution. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how exactly data or logs are parsed in SIEM solution. What is the purpose of data parsing and what are the different types of data parsing which are available? So the very first one is client side and then you have data ingestion uh, parsing which means is there any transformation that has to be applied while the data is getting ingested and the last one is parsing while you are querying the data so let's talk about the very first one itself which is client-side parsing now imagine a scenario where you have a windows machine where this is the actual raw event which exists in this in this machine and then the purpose of the agent is to read this data and forward that to your SIEM centralized repository okay but now closely look what exactly is happening I am querying this data where host name is concepts work right but when I am forwarding that data to SIEM centralized repository as an agent I am changing host name to device name which means what inside the agent or let's say from an agent perspective there is a configuration that exists and which knows that what kind of attribute mapping has to be done between the source and destination and just for your information this kind of configuration is by default available with all the agents from all the SIEM uh, providers okay so this is something which is very common and it's very basic and every SIEM solution provides this capability and this is called client-side parsing. Now if you remember while I was talking about data storage uh, in my last to last video, I was referring to a aspect which was addition of certain attributes which is called SIEM specific attribute and that term is metadata. So this is how your actual raw event was on your machine but when it was ingested into your SIEM centralized repository this is how it looks like. Now what all it includes any attribute mapping that has to be done for a specific attribute is done as well as the additional attributes related to SIEM they are also populated. Now every SIEM solution will have a data ingestion pipeline okay that will be responsible for certain transformations and once that transformation is applied then only the data will be ingested. So now what we are going to understand is what is the purpose of parsing during data ingestion, okay? Now assume that your agent has actually read this data, okay? And the agent has also forwarded the data, but before it getting ingested into your centralized repository, there is something called data ingestion pipeline, which is receiving that data, okay? Now assume raw event started like this, but when it reached data ingestion pipeline, this is how it looks like. But here I have kind of defined a workflow where I have said that if attribute severity is having any of these values, then add an additional attribute and name it as impact and map this particular value. So here you see severity is having value three. Then in this case, what will happen? this will be the actual data that will be ingested to your SIEM centralized repository because this workflow or this transformation is also applied. Now, when it comes to Microsoft Sentinel, it uses Azure Log Analytics Workspace, which uses the process of ETL, which is called Extract, Transform and Load, which means what? Before the data is ingested, all the transformation should be applied. So what we are doing right now is basically a transformation. I mean, I'm reading a specific value and then I'm adding a specific attribute altogether. So now this is how your end-to-end -end data ingestion will look like. So this is how it started. The agent performed the initial set of attribute mapping and this initial section reached from here to your data ingestion pipeline. 
but then based on this particular condition an additional attribute is added which is impact and then SIEM specific attributes are also added and this is how the data got ingested now this is called parsing during data ingestion where a data ingestion pipeline is responsible to have that workflow defined or transformations defined which will be added or which will be processed for each and every event the last one is parsing while querying the data okay so let's say these two snips that i'm showing you right now they are actually a log analytics workspace snip where i'm going to show you some transformation that can be applied out of the box okay so this is my syslog message it has windows manager warning and then it shows you some message and then it shows you some error code as well or some code as well okay now what you see over here that from this particular syslog message which is my first column here however this was the last column here i have extracted certain values so you can see invalid theme cursor size is now extracted into a different column altogether and moreover from this particular column again some value has been extracted as a code so this kind of parsing or transformation that we are doing while we are querying data is called parsing while querying data so every solution that exists in the market will have majorly speaking these three capabilities so make sure you use these capabilities wisely make sure you ingest the right amount of data uh, into your siem solution because practically speaking every solution now is cloud oriented and they're typically charged based on the information which is already ingested so this was all about knowing how exactly data parsing works in siem solution in the next video i'm going to talk about data indexing and normalization when it comes to SIEM. So if you think that this channel is helping you to learn anything new, please feel free to subscribe and share this video with your technical community. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time.